We're slowly working our way to getting our project to look similar to this project. What we've done so far is just added one video track or clip to our first video and first audio track. So let's learn how to add more clips to our timeline. When you're shooting with multiple cameras, you need to sync that footage on your timeline. Here we have our interview B camera. To add this to this timeline, simply click and drag it over to our timeline. I'm still holding it down. You can see that I can add it to the second track, I can add it to the third track, fourth track, or even add it to a completely new track of video and audio. Or I can put it right on top of our interview A camera track, but that wouldn't be good. I don't want that to happen. Since this is the B camera, I'm go actually going to do something a little bit interesting. I'm going to put it on our video track one over here. Then I'm going to put the interview A camera up to the second video track. The reason I do that is when I put the interview B camera clip underneath the A camera, I still see the A camera footage. And that's what I want. If I toggle on the eyeball button right there, you can see me looking at the B camera shot. But since I'm going to be using the A camera shot more, I want it to be on top of the B camera footage. That's just a personal preference. The next thing we have to do is sync this camera to A camera and B camera. I'm going to zoom in on the timeline using the plus button on my keyboard. Then I'm going to expand the audio track so that I can actually see the waveforms in the track. What I can do is double click in this area to the right of the S and to the left of this line in this audio track one. And you can see when I do that, I see the audio waveforms. We can double click here or I can just click and drag at the bottom of this, this track to expand audio track two. You can actually cheat to sync this footage by just lining up the left hand side of the beginning of the clip. If I zoom in here really closely, you can see that the audio waveforms match. And when you play through it, which you might have to do on your own, you can hear that they match up. One audio is coming from a camera, which was the lavalier microphone that was plugged in. You can't see it, it's hidden right here behind this button. But that was actually plugged in to the camera, so it's really high quality audio. The other audio from the B camera is just coming straight from the camera's microphone, which isn't good audio, which we're not going to actually use. This footage is already synced because I exported just this little part of the interview for camera A and B, and I exported the same exact clip length. But in reality, the interview clip A and the interview clip B would be different lengths. They wouldn't start at the exact same time. So you might not know exactly how to sync the footage. You can zoom in here really far to just try to manually nudge things around so that the waveforms match up. Or you can do a cool option that Adobe Premiere Pro has, which is automatic syncing. When you have two clips, and it works best with just two clips on your timeline that you want to sync, and this could be two video clips, or it could be an, a video clip and then an audio clip, just an audio clip from an audio recorder. Select the two clips, right click, and say synchronize. Then click audio down here, make sure it's on audio, mix down, and select OK. It's going to process the audio, and it's going to try to sync the footage. And you can see what happened is it did move the clips and it matched them up and now the audio is synced together. Sometimes it doesn't always work. Sometimes it work you have to do it a couple of times for it to work, but it's a cool way to automatically sync footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're just going to move these two clips and you can see that if I select both the clips, I can drag them over to the left. I can move them together and I just selected both by clicking and dragging over them. See how I click and drag over them? 
instead of just selecting one and then the other, which you can do by selecting one and then shift clicking the next one, or you can just cl click and drag over. Okay, so that is adding a clip to our timeline. We haven't gone through our interview yet. That's the next thing we're going to do. We have to edit this interview down, but I wanna show you how to add other clips to your project. So if we add the, open up the B-roll footage, we can select any of these clips and drag it onto our timeline. So you can see now, if I put this right here towards the beginning, if I zoom in a bit and I play through this, it's going to play through the, the audio or the video and then it's going to cut to this B-roll shot. Another way to add video to your timeline is using the source monitor. This allows you to preview a clip and to only select a specific portion of a clip to add to your timeline. Let me open up this working on chair clip. Here's a video clip and it opens up here in the top. And then I can press the space bar right here to play it. And if you don't want the entire track, you can make a selection to bring into your timeline. If you want the entire track, what you can do is simply click the video right here and drag down here onto our timeline, just like we did before. If it's, it's basically the same thing as clicking down here in the project panel and dragging onto our timeline. I'm, I'm just undoing those edits by pressing command Z on my keyboard, control Z if you're on a PC. Or maybe you just want the video from this clip. You can select this drag video only button and see now the audio doesn't come with it. Or the drag audio only button that just brings the audio. So maybe there is something that he says or some, something, some sound that you want. That might be an option that you need. But say we don't want the entire clip, maybe we just want starting from a certain point. We can click and drag this little timeline indicator up here. We can press the arrow keys on our keyboard to move left or right by a frame. We can also press shift and arrow key to jump five frames at a time to the left or right. So maybe we wanna start here and to set the in point for this selection, press this button right here, the mark in button, or I on your keyboard. And what happens is the right side of the selection is selected. Then I play through, and when I want to stop, say I want to stop right there, I can press this mark out button or press O on my keyboard. Now, when I drag this clip onto my timeline, it's just taking this selection of the clip. So this is a good way to find specific parts of video or audio clips that you want to add to your timeline. We can actually then go in and increase or decrease the mark in or mark out points if we do want to add more or less but it doesn't affect what's already on the timeline. You would have to re-import it. So see how I already added this clip, how it was before, and then I went further and extended this. It's not extending this clip in the timeline, it's just extending the selection of the clip from the project panel, and then we would have to re-import. And you can see if I put this on the fourth video track, the longer video clip selection. I'm just going to delete that. There are some hotkey buttons that you might want to understand. So when we have a selection, you have these buttons here, insert and overwrite. Let's see what happens when I click insert. When I click insert and pay attention to my timeline, see this timeline indicator right here, which is the blue line that I am playing through the video clip. If it's right there and I choose insert, Look what happens. This video clip is added to video track one and audio track one, and it splits the interview A and interview B clips, and it puts it in between, basically. I'm going to undo that, and then I'm going to press overwrite. See what happens? Instead of splitting these clips and basically pushing them aside and making room for this video clip, 
it just overwrites it right on top and you can't see it because we it's on track one. If I toggle off track two, you'll see that now it cuts from this interview clip to this clip we just added and then it'll cut back to the interview clip. But that's not what we want because it overwrote this video clip. How do we use these quick buttons for adding this clip to say track three rather than track one? Because this is a cool way to add footage to our video sequence, but not when it overrides video clips that we want on our timeline. What you have to do is change the track selection over here for overriding. So if we select right here, just on the left, not this one over here, not this column right here, but over here on the left, and we move the V1 to this V3 layer, let's see what happens when I click overwrite. The video is added to track three, but the audio is still on track one. So we gotta make sure that we change both of them. So we're going to change A1 from the track one to track three. Now when we press overwrite or split, it's going to add it to the timeline on the right track that we want, the one that we have selected. Those are many ways to add video or audio clips. Let me just collapse these tracks so that we can see a little bit better. We can do the same thing with our music. So say we have a music track, we can just drag it onto a new audio track layer. Or we can double click it to open up in our source, we can make a selection by pressing the I button for an in point and the O button for an out point, and then drag it down or press override or insert. So if I zoom out and we have A1 track three selected and we say overwrite, it adds it right there. If we say insert, it inserts it and splits all of the tracks, all the video and audio on all of the tracks. Play around with this, play around with adding clips to your timeline. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to actually edit your clips once they are on the timeline.